Now, tweet in haste, repent in even greater haste. That seems to be the lesson today after the Conservative MP Michael Fabricant came in for an immediate barrage of criticism for tweeting that he might punch a female journalist in the throat. He fired off his comment about Yasmin Alibi Brown after she wrangled with the writer Rod Little on this programme last night. Well, Rod Little joins me now along with the Rod Little was on the program to talk about his new book, Selfish Whining Monkeys, which attacks what he calls a politically correct faux left metropolitan elite who he claims runs the country. One of those in his sights, the journalist Yasmin Alibi Brown, took strong exception to his criticism. I have no words to express how much I loathe you. And in that, I feel quite proud that I'm able to tell you that. And How we do don't kill that? each other. I, I feel warm inside, and I'd like to embrace <laughs> Yasmin for oh, That was too much for the Tory MP, Michael Fabricant. He tweeted... I could never appear on a discussion programme with Yasmin Alibi Brown. I would either end up with a brain hemorrhage or by punching her in the throat. David Cameron and Ed Miliband were not impressed. Well, let's be clear, it's a completely unacceptable thing to say, um, and it's right that he apologised, and he retracted, and he apologised fully. He's now done that, but uh, this should never have been said in the first place. It's not an acceptable thing to say. And I don't think that has any place in our politics or, in, frankly, in our society. Mr Fabricant returned to Twitter to offer this by way of an apology. Some people who don't know me think I actually go round punching in the throat. Not true. But he then went on. If anyone believes I would seriously threaten someone with violence, I, of course, withdraw and apologise. Later he responded directly to Yasmin Alibi Brown with... Sorry if you actually thought I would punch you. But he couldn't quite let it rest, adding... But you are utterly infuriating. Michael Fabricant's this tweets route, have got him into trouble before. He greeted the resignation of Maria Miller as culture secretary with the phrase, about time. That helped to lose him the post of Tory party vice chairman. There was no sign of the MP in his Staffordshire seat today, though his constituents had plenty to say. For some people it's kind of an example, and that's not an example that you want putting forward. So I saw the language, OK, she annoyed him, so on. We've all got opinions, but no need to use that type of thing, you know. He probably just lets himself uh, get, let his mouth run away a little bit without thinking. But uh, he's popular here, so we're going to defend him whatever happens. It's by no means the first time a woman in the public eye has had to deal with offensive tweets. A campaign by Caroline Criado Perez for a woman's face on a banknote led to two people being jailed. Tonight, there are calls for Michael Fabricant to be disciplined by his party. A little earlier, I spoke again to Yasmin Alibi Brown, this time with the executive editor of the Breitbart News website, James Dellingpole. I first asked him what he had to say to those who argued that he and Michael Fabricant were condoning violence against women. I'm saying that there is a world of difference between uh, language and action, and I find it astonishing that you girls can't see this. I really find it depressing that our country has got to this stage where you play these very, very dodgy games. You're trying to effectively destroy the, ki the career of Michael Fabricant, get him into enormous trouble for something completely harmless on Twitter. And I think what you're doing is reprehensible. OK, for, for a start, last time I looked, I was a woman, not a girl. And also, there is no intent here. I'm not trying to destroy you Michael ladies, Fabricant. You are... You are doing exactly that. You and Yasmin Alibi Brown. Yasmin Alibi Brown has the hide of a rhinoceros. And yet, when, when, when the opportunity comes to, to have a go and play the offended little missy, this is what she's doing. I think, actually, if you're in the game of being a kind of uber troll, which is what Yasmin Alibi Brown is, she, she's built her career on annoying people intensely. You can't then start, start pretending to be a, 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 a delicate warflower when somebody says something mildly unflattering about you on Twitter. And the idea that you're going to turn it into a threat is just, it's okay. beyond the pale. I think right. it's really dirty, dirty tactics, all right? OK, James Dellingpole, stay there. We'll come back to you. Let's bring in Yasmin Alibi Brown now. Uh, um, you're an uber troll. I'm You've got a hide of a rhinoceros. Absolutely. I don't have the hide of a rhinoceros. Um, I am extremely upset, actually, that this man, like Fabricant, like the person I was talking to yesterday, Rod Little, 
form this group, this wedge of deeply uncivilized men who think they can say anything, anything they like, especially when it comes to women. We and also, I'm story. not a coolie we all to be take talked to in this way. Seriously, I'm not, not a little coolie violence. from the empire that doesn't have a mouth, a voice, an opinion. That's what's in Fabrican's yeah. head, that Yasmin. I'm a little coolie out there who should know her Yasmin, place. I do not know my place. It's not about your sex. It's not about your religion and it's not about your skin colour. It's about you. You have built up a career as the most annoying person on TV in the media. You must expect that occasionally people express their, their irritation well, with James, you in, in quite a forceful way. James, you say, you say it's not about skin colour. James, James you. you say it's not about skin colour. But he did mm. uh, retweet a, a tweet saying that Yasmin Alawai Brown should be deported. Uh, I don't know about that one. Oh, I haven't seen well, it. you did. should do, but, um, shouldn't you? I'm, 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 you should but do. it wasn't probably, specifically about you being a woman, was it? Because Yasmin, Yasmin, what well, you're my in suspicion would be that you kind of you kind of stoked this one up. Of course, I asked for it, did I? About, That's about what, you wanting yeah. to be given a bounty or something yeah. by him, or wanting to be an ayah. Yeah. This is just yeah, you yeah. playing the race card. So I asked for it, did I? I asked for it. An entirely characteristic of you as well. Typical, typical male attitude. Let me ask you this though: you have in the past written that working class white men provoked race riots through the 50s and 60s. You've joked in the past that it'd be great if you lot, white middle class men in that instance, just went away. Have you not also indulged in the kind of abuse that you're now criticizing but, uh, Michael no, I never, for? I've never ever in my life been violent in words towards anybody. I have not. And if Diane Abbott had tweeted what this man tweeted yesterday, or if a Muslim had tweeted, because some Muslims don't like what I say, if a Muslim had tweeted what Fabricant tweeted yesterday, what would be the reaction? Well, okay, you're, he's yes, apologised. He's, he's not apologised. Okay. He's he, not apologised. He I do not apology. accept he's apologised. Well, what more would you like to happen to him? Should he, for example, have the whip taken away? He, I would like to see a proper apology from him, not one extracted out of him reluctantly. And yes, I would want the Tory party to think again. What kind of a man here have they backed and why is he not being asked to be more careful as an MP? He's an MP. He probably has a lot of people who are like me, you know, who voted for him or at least are in his constituency. There and has the to be, be more than just this weasley little non-apology. And the whip taken away? I would. James or his testicles, even. <laughs> That's what she really wants, isn't it? On a plate, on a silver platter, <laughs> she wants his testicles. I, 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 think, I think that Michael Fabrigan adds to the gaiety of the nation. Uh, if, if only more, more MPs were as colourful and entertaining as, as he is. I think Yasmin is making a lot of fuss about nothing. And the idea that this attack is in any way mis racist or misogynistic is a nonsense. It's about Yasmin Alibi Brown, the most annoying woman on the planet. Yasmin Alibi Brown, James Dellingpole, thank you very That's much. That's me told. Yes. Still to come tonight, 